welcome to a whip Wednesday which I know I haven't done in a while um so if you're new here welcome whip Wednesday just means work in progress Wednesday um so I basically am just working on whatever I was working on before <laughs> so in this case I am just picking up where I left off on this Kirby page now this is part of a hashtag hosted by Shannon. I will um, try to remember to link. <laughs> I always got to put like try because I forget. Um, I'm working in Mythomorphia. <clears throat> now this was started on last Sunday's live stream. And I'm doing this with Inktense and Tombow Colorless Blenders. So uh, I did have a few people ask if it was bleeding through. As you can see, no bleed through. It's not going to bleed through. Um, this isn't, while this is like a dye-based ink, um, it's not going to bleed through using the Tombow. It won't bleed through using the alcohol marker method. And it won't bleed through using um, the water brush either. Uh, at least on these Kirby pages, I can verify that because I've tested it. So. For those who are curious uh but yes so if you're new to whip wednesday this isn't really like a coloring lesson or um a review or anything like that it's literally just kind of me coloring chatting about what's going on around here like kind of a you know behind the scenes what's happening um and stuff like that so it's definitely just kind of a chatty video so like pick up whatever you're working on you really don't need to watch me color unless you want to watch me color um <laughs> but it's more so like it keeps you company while you're working on your project and in a way even though i'm not really talking directly with anyone or having a full conversation i'm semi talking to myself as i'm filming it actually gives me someone to talk to so I can keep working on my projects because sometimes it's just boring to do it by yourself. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that is what Whip Wednesday is. I haven't done one in a while since the, uh, we'll just call it the Husky incident, but that was because um, uh, I had so much drama and harassment that stemmed from that that I took a really nice long month and a half break but I did want to bring them back because I know there's some of you who really enjoy them and you know look forward to them every week and I wanted to bring those back and kind of get that going again and then the nice thing is you can always watch them in order and kind of catch up and see what not but yeah so um how's it going <laughs> things are really rough here um just stressful in general I, we do have a lot of good news headed our way like our uh, one husky harper she's got her cast off so she she's able to do that but she has some sores from the cast so She'll be in recovery, like she still has to take it easy, and so they still have her on pretty heavy sedatives right now. Um, and then antibiotics so those sores don't get infected. But she's still got to be kenneled and chill out for about 10 days. Um, we did have her spayed, which I know sounds just so awful, like so cruel, right? <laughs> Spare, but... We wanted to do it while she was already on crate rest because trust me, once that girl is let free, she is not going in a crate ever again, I bet you. So we wanted to do it while she was already having some downtime. Um, so she was spayed on Monday. She's doing great though, recovering fine from that. And you can tell she's getting antsy. Um, she, uh, she tore apart her bed in her kennel so I took the bed out of one of the other dog's kennels and put it in there and hey, guess what? She tore that one out and she's a husky. Huskies are escape artists. The other day I had her kenneled um, and I went to my doctor's appointment and came home and she was out of the kennel just you know, like, hi, meeting me at the door. And I'm like, what are you doing? So she didn't break any of the doors open. Instead, so we have the metal um, 
crates instead of those big plastic ones, which I may need to switch to. Or those metal ones. So like in the corners, they kind of meet and pop together. Somehow she was able to unpop it and wiggle through, but like not unpop it to the point where it was like full out open, just unpopped it enough to slide through. I, I mean, it was just, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm sitting there like, how big was the hole that you fit through? Uh, and that's just one thing I, I laugh at because I don't think a lot of people realize huskies, I swear, they're something up there. Like they can get through holes that they shouldn't be getting through. They are true contortionists and escape artists, but I love them. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how she did that. And uh, next time I leave, I'm going to put the indoor camera right on her so I can I can see this work in action. Because I honestly was like, what on earth? Because she has a cone on because she just had surgery, you know, so she has a cone on. So she had to be able to fit that big old cone on her head through whatever opening she created. That's what baffles me more. I'm like, woman, you had a cone on your head. So the mystery is not solved yet, but perhaps by next week I will know because after, after next week she won't or shouldn't be in a kennel as long as she's healing. The best news was when the vet was like, guess what, you don't have to come back ever again until it's like preventative. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Like I, cause I was there at least once a week but it got to the point where they knew my name. They just instantly saw Harper and was like, oh, hi, <laughs> come on back. I was like, uh. so yeah, it, it was a long road there and we're good on that front. Um, things have been stressful for us here. I mean, the added expense of vet bills, anyone who's ever encountered a vet bill just knows, oh, there's just nothing cheap, nothing. Mm -mm. Um, I am looking into pet insurance, but I've always been on the fence about that because it's like you pay, you know, a couple hundred a month. Well, I would be because I have four dogs, but like how often am I going to use it? Would it pay for itself? Like granted this situation, you'd be like, oh yeah, it paid for itself. But this was a very one-off situation <laughs> that uh, wouldn't normally occur. Um... And would it happen again? I don't know. I don't know. But I may look into pet insurance. We'll see. <clears throat> that said, um, once Harper's good to go, I will be training her because she has a lot of PTSD. Uh, and those of you who know what happened to her, I'm sure you can understand why she would have PTSD. So that's going to be quite the adventure. But what's really been stressing me out... Um, is just my job. So I work in content marketing. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically, I mean, think of a website you've visited, you know, the web pages that are written on there. Like I work for a company that writes those and the blogs and all that. Um, well, chat, there's been AI out for a long time, AI writing tools, but most of them sucked pretty severely. However, when they launched ChatGPT3, which is the latest and greatest, well, that darn thing is really impressive. Um, and it has really hit my industry hard. And so, yeah, I don't necessarily know how long I'll have a job or what's going to happen with my job because, you know, it's impacted our company and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So that's the big stressor is like, I don't know what's going on. And unfortunately, I am the breadwinner of the house. So my job goes, lots of things go with it. Um, I've been looking at possibly just selling our house. It's, it, it would suck. It's my dream home. You know, I've, I've got my dream home, but um, if you can't, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it, <laughs> right? Uh, but we'll see where it goes. Um, at least I don't have the added expense anymore of the vet bills. That that's really gonna be a relief. But we'll see how it goes, just job wise. 
I have been looking, um, it's just obviously I have to look in areas outside of what I'm best at, which is content marketing, because, well, um, that's pretty much dead at the moment for us genuine content writers. Um, that said, one thing I've been working on is uh, my channel. I've been putting more hours into it um, when I can, of course, because I do still work full time. Um, but I am actually creating some new YouTube channels. I know I had mentioned this before, but I'm one's almost ready to launch. So I am taking my diamond painting and moving it to its own channel. And the reason for that is I know there's quite a few of you on here that do both adult coloring and diamond painting, but um, I have noticed sometimes I get subscribers that only end up subscribing for the diamond painting. And then when I'm not posting those videos, there's really nothing for them here. And, um, so I'd want to make it easier for them as well. And it'll also help me um, in terms of a lot of other things like search and whatnot. So I do have a new channel. Um, I will leave a link in the description below, but I will, I have the channel name called The Diamond Daughter. Not daughter as in like my child daughter, but dot, like D-O-T-T-E-R. Um, I'm surprised that wasn't taken, <laughs> to be completely honest, because I was like, has this not taken? Well, all right, it's mine now. Um, I've been working on videos for it this week, so I'll have some videos up. Um, and yeah, I'll just be sharing all my diamond painting stuff over there. So if you, you know, subscribed for diamond painting, um, or you, you know, you like both, then just head on over there and subscribe. Uh, I'll start posting videos to that one. I'll even have whip and chats on there, but it'll just be while working on a diamond painting. Um, and then eventually I'll probably start doing some live streams on there too. So it'll be fun. Um, I did talk to a few companies that I've had some, you know, agreements with, um, on this channel and said, hey, I'm making kind of like an offshoot specifically for this. And they've all been really supportive and they're willing to send or, you know, continue our partnership even though I'll have a brand new channel. So I thought that would be fun. Um, so yeah, that will be going over there. And then I probably will be removing videos from here that are diamond painting and migrating them over maybe we'll see it's a lot of work i might just start fresh and leave what's here here um so i have that in the works um i also am working on my watercolor channel um that one i'm not quite ready to launch i'm just launching one at a time because uh youtube channels are a lot of work <laughs> uh yeah, and like, uh, you know, while I have a full-time job, I just don't have the hours, but uh, they're a lot of work. So I'm going to launch the other one, get that moving, and then I'll probably start with my, I think my watercolor channel next because I really want to do that. So a lot of videos that I had planned on doing on this channel for watercolor, like I have a whole bunch of new Schminka paints, and by new I mean I bought them months ago and haven't swatched them. Um, but I'm going to save those for my watercolor channel, um, and even my watercolor collection, I think I'll post over there. So that one will be up soonish. I'm just trying to like kind of finalize some things on that one. Uh, it's a lot of work to get a channel going y'all, but at least this is like my my primary channel and will remain my primary and focus channel. Everything else is just for kicks, I guess we'll call it. But it also gives me a place to share content that doesn't necessarily align with adult coloring. Um, and then that way I don't feel like I'm so, you know, always having to tie it into to adult coloring to make it apply. I can just let it be what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, definitely check out the Diamond Daughter. 
I am the Diamond Doctor. Oh, there's no way to enunciate that without it still coming out like I'm the daughter of diamonds, but fine. I <laughs> it works for me. Um, but yeah, so there's that going on. Um, one someone had asked the other day how my book was coming along, which is actually so thoughtful because I'm surprised a lot of people remembered. But I am working on my book. I just haven't had time. <laughs> Uh, you know, with my son's spring soccer season back on, well, there went any free time I, I sort of had, and all three of my kids are in sports, um, now, but I did that because I felt like my poor daughters were getting left out, right? Like, they just, they, they were always waiting for, you know, the brother's soccer game. Oh, nope, you can't do this sport because it overlaps your brother. So... That was one of my New Year's resolutions was to get them in sports as well. And then I told my son, hey, if I don't start seeing you like practice more or take this more seriously, I'm dropping you down to rec. Um, my wallet would appreciate it. <laughs> so all of a sudden he's practicing like crazy outside. So hey, worked. But uh, yeah, so the only crummy thing is like my one daughter, uh, she's in ballet. And she goes on Mondays, and guess what day they decided for my son's soccer practice to be Mondays. Same overlapping times. Um, and then my other daughter is in gymnastics, and guess what other day they announced his soccer practice would be? Yeah, Thursday. What are the odds? <laughs> like, <laughs> I sat there just like, hmm. And Thursday is the worst because they legit overlap so bad, but... The, some girls in the neighborhood are also in the same gymnastics class, so we kind of carpool. But the problem is, is only uh, myself and one other mother has a big enough car to fit all of them. Plus, um, if my husband's on duty, after the girls are done with gymnastics, they have to come with me to go pick up my son from soccer. And uh, that hits max capacity on my car. So, um, that's like six people total, um, trekking along. So yeah, uh, we're still working out the chaos of that. And then his soccer games, uh, you know, are on top of that. Um, but luckily the spring season is really short and it only goes till the end of May. Oh, that still seems like forever. Um, and then, yep, he starts it all over again. He tries out. Uh, you have to try out every year, no matter what, if you're on a team or not, because, hey, uh, someone better might come along and replace you. And that's kind of just life with these. It's a good lesson. Uh, it's a harsh lesson, but I I feel it's a good one. Um, especially for my son, like when he's kind of lollygagging on practice, I'm like, dude, you got to try out. And if you're not improving, someone can take your spot. <laughs> Just because you're on the team today does not mean they'll keep you. So that's really got, gotten him moving. Um, and thank goodness, because uh, teenage boys, uh, I don't want to deal with the drama of him not making the team. They're, teenage boys are, <clears throat> well, I can't say they're worse than teenage girls quite yet. I don't know. They just feel a lot more emotional. <laughs> more work. And they're talking back a lot, too. Oh, my. That one, that one caught me off guard because I was like, I'm sorry, what did you now just say to me? <laughs> I've become that parent. But yeah, so I guess that's what's up with the kids and me. Um, I did just finish the watercolor crayon battle. Uh, I am working on the pencil one, don't worry. It's just, uh, there's a lot and I need to get individual reviews of each product out first. Um, because the battles kind of just give you results, but you're going to see a lot more in the individual review as well. So that's what's holding me up. And I do apologize, but I'm doing my best. I mean, I spent like 40 hours on the crayon battle. Um, and that was only six crayons. <sighs> Um, the watercolor battle, though, I did decide, <clears throat> instead of doing, like, one video with all the categories, I will be 
doing a video per category. So you know, this is a little off topic, but in between like some of the, the tree man's tree man parts, <laughs> that sounded awful. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I'm gonna put black so that it really pops. Like so down here you see some like white space. Originally I was like, oh, what should I do there? I'm gonna put black because I think that'll help. Because like right here, I know there's some shading here, but I honestly think this should be black. So yeah, side note, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay. Oh, um, so I am incredibly behind, but I have received some happy mail from quite a few of you. Um, I, if I have your email, I, I do reach out to you or Instagram and say thank you. Uh, but I am going to start posting <clears throat> little things in Instagram and on my community tab, uh, kind of like color with Claire does. I actually reached out to Claire. I was like, Claire, do you care if I do this? I'm not trying to copy. It's just an, it's an awesome idea just to say thanks. Um, and then I will get them in a video. I, I haven't done a haul cause you know, I haven't really bought much but um also I've been kind of to be quite frank on edge about doing any sort of haul um I had a book sent to me by an artist and I was so excited uh flowerscape oh I was over the moon Maggie Maggie sent me a book and signed it <laughs> um and I had done a flip through of that and I had gotten so many mean messages about buying things um, when I had a donation link up for my Huskies. And uh, that was another reason I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I almost quit YouTube last month, <clears throat> quit entirely because I was just getting flustered. Um, the donation link I put up, I did not want a donation link put up. In fact, quite a, quite a few of you know that because <laughs> you, you asked me repeatedly to put it up and I was like, nah, but that's cause I'm just not that type of person. I get awkward. I mean, you know, I just, it's awkward. Um, but you know, a few subscribers had made a really good point that <clears throat> like it brings them joy to help people. Um, and so I was like, you know what, you're right. And so I did create the donation link. And um, by the way, everyone who donated, thank you so very much. Um, despite <clears throat> comments on some of my book flip throughs, I did not use those funds for anything other than going straight back to the vet, who I'm sure could buy a Mercedes now with as much as I paid him. But yeah, I did not spend them on anything other than vet bills. Um, and I appreciate every single donation I received. It, it was honestly, I was honestly like, there's no words. I was so caught off guard at the amount of donations. So I, I genuinely appreciate it. And I hope that you all know that. I cannot figure out what the heck this is in here. So we're just going to go down here. Um... Truly, my my whole, my entire family appreciates it. I should say, um, not just me, because that helped tremendously. Um, and and little Harper, even though she doesn't pay the bills, I'm sure she appreciates it because <laughs> it took a lot of stress. So yes, thank you for that, and then thank you for the happy mail. I received some happy mail um, from some of you just. Just, uh, I guess, you know, trying to give me something to smile about, and it definitely worked, and I appreciate it uh, immensely. So, um, you know, I <clears throat> it it can be so, sort of bumming at times when, you know, there's some people that ruin it for the rest of us, I guess. Because, um, you know, 90% of the time, the people I interact with are absolutely amazing. But sometimes that 10% can really just wear you down and make you question why you're on YouTube. <laughs> uh, there's days, but um, there after that after that harassment, um, I was yeah I was about to quit, but I took a step back and was just like okay, 
Um, so that's why I took down the update on my, my puppies video, um, and just left it as you can ask, ask me and I'll update you, but I just won't have a video. Um, but I could not believe some of the things people would message me privately or email me, including awful things, just awful. Uh, I mean, one was pretty much a, counted as a, a threat to my life. So I had to, I literally forwarded it to the uh, sheriff's department that's handling the case with my dogs. Cause I was like, um, I don't know how to report this or what to do with this, but this is just, yeah. So they're handling that. Um, who knows what will happen with that, but I was just like, this is insane. <laughs> I just want to color. <laughs> um, you know, I did get some, some comments saying, well, why don't, why don't you just stick to the coloring and not share anything personal? I could do that. I, I could have a channel where I never talk to you guys. I, you know, I just color. I, I don't really say anything else. Maybe I'll tell you what the pencils are and how my weather is and leave it at that. But that's not how I want my channel to be. I want my channel to be like a place where you can come and you're, you know me and you know the person behind the camera. I know you, you only see my hands, but you know my hands and my voice. <laughs> um, I just don't want to be, you know, completely silent, I guess, or not, not share anything. And um, because I found that creating a community with my subscribers and other YouTubers is just so comforting. Um, and, you know, the world is a lonely place as it is, lonely and dark. <laughs> and for me, you know, I don't have a lot of friends. Um, and I'm sure many of you can relate to this. You know, we grow older, friends that we had, like, you know, as we were younger kind of disappear. We get married, we have kids. You know, the, about the only friends you make there are like parents of other kids, but we're all too busy to like actually be friends or chat with one another. Um, it, it's kind of, sometimes you feel like you've lost all your, your rocks and support systems, you know? Um, and that's just adulthood sometimes, I guess. But yeah, that's, that's one reason I wanted my channel to be more of a community based. Like you guys knew who I was, what I'm about. I'm not just some chick with pencils go coloring and then calling it a day. Um, so I guess that was my focus and goal. Um, however, just for fun, <laughs> one of the channels I will be releasing will just be all coloring and no words. <laughs> so there you, there you go. So if you want Corey on silent mode, I will have a version for you. <laughs> And it's not, not to be like, um, snarky or anything else. Just like, you know what? That might be kind of funny. Fun, like fun to do. Just kill her. Just kill her. Uh, I mean, it won't keep me as entertained or keep me company as much, but it might be fun. So that is a channel that I will be releasing. Um, but I also have some channels I'm going to be releasing that have nothing to do with art or adult coloring. So as I get closer and ready to release them, I'll like let you know. But the Diamond Daughter one is definitely um, like about there. I finally got my logo, which I made myself. Not very great. Um, but on another front, um, I have been learning dog training. Um, our trainer has taken me on as an apprentice um, and is teaching me dog training, which by the way, I don't want to ever hear someone say dog training is easy. It is not. It is flipping insane is what it is. Um, so like, imagine you're walking a dog, right? Walking a dog, simple. You're like enjoying your surroundings, relaxing. No. That's not what you're doing when you're uh, leash training a dog. You are actually watching the dog and the ground. So myself 
and him, he even does it still. Uh, you constantly run into things <laughs> or trip. Oh uh, yeah, the joys. Um, but it's because you are watching the dog so that you can correct the dog immediately. Because dogs don't register a no even within 10 seconds after. Like you have to be instant. Otherwise they don't know what that no was for. Um, so you have to walk, watch, and correct all very quickly. Um, so I, I always tell them like, well, there's no way I'm going to be able to come on a day after I've streamed because that's kind of like similar. You're coloring, you're reading a chat, and carrying on a conversation with people all at the same time. Um, like after Sunday live streams, I'm usually quite brain dead. <laughs> I enjoy them. It's just, it's, it's a lot, you know, a lot of working parts. Um, and so, yeah, like, but, oh my gosh, dog training is crazy. Like, we have a dog right now that's aggressive, and, you know, I'm learning how to handle and rehabilitate an aggressive dog. Oh my gosh, it's, it's nuts. Um, when I'm done training for the day, I am physically tired, mentally tired, uh, but I'm getting my steps in, so maybe I'll lose some weight. <laughs> it's a very physical job. We have a, oh my gosh, what breed is that dog? Uh, Greyhound, that's right. This thing is huge and strong. Like about dislocated my shoulder when he went to yank on his collar, or not his collar, his leash. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, but then we also have the aggressive dogs, which are really hard because you're like training them to sit you know, and this dog just wants to eat you alive. <laughs> and you're all like, sit, you know, and it's like, sit. But in your head, you're like, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. I have children. So, um, yeah, I am doing that. Um, but we are or opening a boarding facility at our house. And I've started my business. Um, and eventually it'll turn into training as well. But that's a long ways away because I have so much to learn. Um, but yeah, it's it's at least an exciting prospect. And the whole point of it is, is it will help me get closer to my dream of opening a husky rescue. Because, you know, to do a rescue, I need to be able to train a lot of these huskies coming out of shelters and whatnot. Or if someone wants to surrender their husky to me, you know, I need to be able to assess and train them and rehabilitate them so they can be rehomed. Um, so yeah, that, you know, obviously I have to learn, but I am close to my first level of certification. Um, I am miles away from Kennel Master, which is what I need before I can open my Husky Rescue. So it's kind of a work in progress, but on top of that, I'm still, you know, working full time. I'm trying to get my, um, keep up with this channel. Um, and then I'm starting that new one. So that's why my, my new channels will roll out slowly as I can add them in. Um, and we'll just go from there, I guess. But I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful that if my job does go away, there's some some exciting prospects, but at the same time, no one wants to lose a job, especially a job I've had for seven years, and I've actually been with the company since it began, so it's like kind of like a sad ending. <laughs> like just sad to see it go because I was there when it started, watched it grow, and then it's like just gone kind of thing, but guess that's like life, right? Things just, nothing's forever. I, um, I guess, I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, but let's see this week. Um, we don't have any games this week, thank goodness, but I do plan to stream on Sunday. I'm still doing part of the Kirby, two weeks with Kirby. 
Um, I believe I will have a special guest with me. Um, it'll be kind of a buddy color and chat. I need to get a hold of this person though and make sure we're still on for that. Um, but yeah, that will be fun. Um, and then I do have plans to do a fun little thing with Emily Illustrator. We've been talking about this for like, I don't know, forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> months of doing a challenge where we color a page with nothing but neon colors. You know, because I hate neons. Um, anytime they're in a pencil set, I'm just like, why? So yeah, we're going to just make a challenge of it um, and color a page. Now, I don't know what mine's going to look like. She's so good at mixing colors and making the craziest of color blends, but I'll do my darndest, I guess. But that will be coming up soon. It'll, be, it'll probably be a lot more laughs than anything else, but <laughs> at least for me, because I'll be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, might as well, right? And then I can use up some of those neon pencils that just keep popping up in sets. And I'm like, why are you here? So that is coming up. Uh, we just need to pick a date. Uh, the Kirby the Kirby event popped up, so I was like, okay, well, I'll wait for that, and then, oh gosh, life, so we've got to find a time that works, and now we're veering into summer, too, but that part might be nice, I don't know, <laughs> it's hard because there's, my house is always full of kids, like, because, you know, everyone else works out of their house, so their kids just somehow are always at my house. And then when I'm like, hey, I gotta, I gotta film, shush. <laughs> it's, it's quite the ordeal. But uh, we'll see how this summer goes, I guess. I'm hoping this really was a tree right here. If not, I made it a tree. But um, yeah, that, that's really about it. Um, I do have these Kirby pages I'm working on. I'm thinking, I mean, by the end of the month, I'll have probably four done, but I'm at the end of the two weeks, I'm probably only going to have two. This one's taking forever, not because of the ink tents. Um, the ink tents are actually helping speed it up, <laughs> but um, I am struggling to decipher what the heck is what, you know? Um, on this page. I have one other. In fact, I'll show you guys the whips here when I'm done. Oh, maybe I'll have three done by the end of this. I'm like determined to finish this one before the event ends. So doggone it, I'm gonna. Ooh, and if you've stuck around this far, I am going to do a giveaway again this Sunday as part of the two weeks with Kirby. So keep an eye out for that. Um, okay, so let me show you what I've got going in this book so far. And then um, I think we'll call it good. But all right, so obviously I have this one. I call him Tree Man. He actually has a Kirby has named him, but I, I'm liking this page. And I think the black in these areas is going to make everything pop out even more. Now I do have this double page spread started. I actually erased these. Uh, it doesn't look like it, I know, but they've been erased. <laughs> they need to erase again. Um, I just didn't like the colors. I don't know. Uh, so they all have skin, but I don't plan on working on this one for the event um, any further. I've lost my love. I kind of want to do this one too, but <clears throat> let's see. So when I was looking through all my books, this book suddenly became my favorite. And I, Worlds Within Worlds is what I thought was my favorite. But here's this other one I'm doing. Now, this is with Prisma. But when I flipped through this book, I was like, oh my gosh, everything I could do in ink tents. I used Prisma on this one just because I wanted to see how they worked. Um, I've got like so many colors in here. It's not even funny, but it doesn't look that way. Unless you like look really close and you can see all the greens and everything. Ah. Um, so this one's almost done. In fact, the pencils are sitting downstairs in my room. I just need to finish this up and then do a background. Um, 
And then this one literally just needs a background. So I just need to grab my Neo Colors. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make it a night scene. So this will be glowing up here. What I'm doing with this is just pretending it doesn't exist. It's one single card. I'm just gonna color over it <laughs> and then use some sparkly bits. Um, so basically we won't know it's there. So yeah, I have those two that I need to finish. And then of course, you know, our tree man, I've got to finish. And then um, I think I'll start up one more. I don't know. Um, for Sunday's live stream, I kind of want to, I'm debating like if I'm going to finish, you know, you guys tell me in the comments below. Do you want to see me finish up the three I'm working on in the stream? I mean, obviously I won't get them all done, but I, I can work on my whips. It'll be like a weekend whip. Should I start a new page? Um, sometimes I'm like, I'll see this one and I think, oh gosh, I should save this for like a color along or something, you know? So it's it's hard to say. Um, you're gonna start seeing a lot more ink tents and watercolor pencil color alongs because they just bring me joy. Um, so, just keep an eye out for that as well. But yeah, let me know for Sunday. I'm completely open. Um, my friend and I, who are streaming together on Sunday, we have decided we won't do the same page, but it will be a Kirby page because that way, you know, Kirby pages take forever and we don't want to get like <laughs> pigeonholed into a buddy color we may not finish. So um, that's why I'm saying I'm completely open. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And, and in the meantime, I think I'm going to jet, get myself um, ready for some work for the day. I'm still in my, my cozy robe. It's one of those days where I am not ashamed to be in my sweatpants and robe and just call it a day. <laughs> so until next time, everyone, take care and bye now.